there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me today. Today is day four of the seven days of Christmas. Um, and today I'm featuring a star gift bag as part of my Christmas projects. Here it is here. The gift bags are in the uh, mini catalogue. They are called the star treat bags. There's a pack of ten. They come just like this, and all you have to do is take it out, pop it open, and you're done. There's the gift bag, all made for you. Couldn't doesn't get any easier than that, right? But we're going to make a cute little treat bag, a little a tag to go with it, using the decorated pines dies, and stamps, and a little bit of um watercolouring using the stamp it's not actually watercolouring but it gives you that impression of a little bit of watercolouring so let's get making so there's the uh, star treat bag already made <laughs> that's pretty easy so what we're going to do is use a piece of uh, that is soft seafoam cardstock and we're going to cut it out die cut it using uh, this is one of the scallop shapes dies. So let's go ahead and cut that one out in our stamping cut and boss machine. Okay, that's all cut out. Let's do a little bit of background stamping using the soft sea foam um, classic ink just on the back of this here. Just bring a piece of my good paper and just a little bit of difference on just to give a little bit of texture underneath. Where we're going to put that piece on top. You won't see heaps of it, but it will peek through. It's just nice to have it under there. So that's that little bit done. That's that piece of stamping. Let's go ahead and stamp these out now. These are our three little baubles. Got a piece of basic white. A thick basic white cardstock there and we're just I'm going to cutting them out I'm going to stamp them in old olive shaded spruce and um, soft sea foam um, and let's just stamp the outline stamps first I've got them right here on the box all ready to go so let's do old olive first is that one done Let's do um, soft sea foam next. We're going to cut these out once we've finished all the stamping using the dies that go with this set. And finally, the shaded spruce. Yeah. Now, to get that sort of um, pretend watercolour look, if you like, watercolor look we're going to go back and fill those in with another stamp that's in the stamp set so there are three other little stamps that go with this one they, they give you that sort of watercolor wash look and they just go over the top so using the same colors um, let's start with the shaded spruce I'll make sure I've got the right one here it is just going to stamp it off and then stamp back on here now it doesn't matter if it goes over because it's just that you know watercolor wash image idea that you're getting next one is the soft sea foam and again you don't have to stamp it off but i am choosing to and then the last one is the old olive up here oops nearly forgot to stamp off just so it's a lighter image and those will be cut out using our die, the dies that come with the set. These ones here, the outline dies. So that one, that one, and that one. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if it's sort of gone over those edges because the die is going to cut them out. So let's go and grab the stamp cut and emboss machine now and cut those out. All right, so there are those three all cut out. Um, cute little stamp in here also the bows of jolly bows of jolly or bow or bow however you like to say it already gone ahead and stamped and cut that one out using the and that's another um 
this one here, this die set here, this is the Beautiful Shapes dies. Once again, using that fabulous die from this set, and I've used it several times already in different videos, and I know, you probably think I'm, you're probably getting bored of me using it all the time, but it's just such a good um, die. So a little bit of Tombow on here, just to adhere this down. Good job of filling that. Doesn't really matter because you don't see a whole lot of this. So let's get that on an angle. Hold that down for a minute. Tombow on there. Yep, just a tiny bit more. I'm never terribly patient with this Tombow, am I? <laughs> I think I got that one up a little bit higher. I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's put this together. So Sentiment up the top with a dimensional at the back. A silicone mat out of the way. Oops. Just here. Put that one on. So one of the larger dimensionals in the middle and a smaller one at the top there. That um, watercolour image stamp is a great, it's great to use. It just, it just, um, a little, little bit of something different on the, for these little bells. Right, let's pop that under there. Oops, I need to get that under there slightly. Just here. And then last one. And the small one at the top. More dimensional that is. And then that just sits up there. Like so. Um, and the thing I should have done before I put that all together is make my little hole. Mm -hmm. So I might just have to peel that back ever so slightly. Oops. <laughs> Don't do what I did, please. So just using the... This is the Label Me Fancy Punch, and I'm just going to, I'm just hoping I've got it right. Well, any hole punch will do. Not quite, but it doesn't really matter because um, you won't really see it. This is the Satin Edged Ribbon, which is also in the mini catalogue. So I've put a link to these products in the description bar below. to the end of this gold twine. I've used it quite a lot. <laughs> Try and straighten it out a bit. Seem to have used it on just about every project recently. Tie a little bow. These Star Treat bags, seriously, they are really a must-have. I um, hope they don't sell out before the end of the um, end of the holiday catalogue, the whole the mini catalogue, 
so if you really like them I wouldn't um, delay too long because I think yeah they're a really great great little quick treat bag you could also put a piece of gold foil behind the back there um, and pop it inside and just attach it and that also looks really cute I mean you don't wouldn't really even have to do much more of that would, it, would you blue tack, uh, blue tack mini glue dot so how I've attached it is I haven't attached the that's that's loose so what I'm going to do is put a couple of glue dots right up here directly onto the bag and make it three these they are stamping up stamping up glue dots are so strong seriously they're so strong and then that just go on there like that and that's all there is to it oh i just remembered i put a popped a glue dot on in the ribbon as well just to hold it together don't have to do this I just wanted to see it flat you can't really you can't see it well you can see the bit but you know, not, it's not too obvious and there you have it very cute very very cute little gift tag that one hasn't got anything in it but that's what it would look like if you had a little bit of um, tissue paper in there super easy to make I hope you enjoyed it if you have whoops let's fix that one <laughs> if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me stampingmary at gmail.com thank you so much for watching have a great day bye